Hey guys, it's Jay. Welcome to my New York City kitchen. I am so excited for us to cook together. So today we're gonna make the most easiest happy comfort food I have ever made on chophappy.com. I am gonna make slow cooker kimchi soup. It is so, so good and it has special meaning for me because my first time that me and Tom ever hung out, we went to K-Town here in New York City and I had kimchi for the first time and I fell in love. Oh my God, it's so good. It's sweet fermented, but it has a tiny bit of spiciness. And let's get started, yay! Super easy. So I'm gonna take pork belly, two strips of pork belly, it comes just like this, right at the bottom. Oh, that looks so good. If you don't wanna get pork belly, you can use five strips of bacon, also cut into small pieces, or if you're vegetarian, just leave it out. Second thing, we're gonna season the pork belly with some sesame oil, only a teaspoon, because this stuff is strong. And then my favorite thing, soy sauce. Tom makes fun of me because if we get a bowl of rice, I put way too much soy sauce. Almost that I soak the rice in soy sauce. Okay, about a teaspoon of that as well too. We're gonna mix this around. I'm gonna use my hands. We're gonna put the kimchi and all its juices, two bottles of kimchi, four cups of chicken stock. So if you want to make this vegetarian, use vegetable stock and leave out the pork. Top on on here and I'm gonna turn this on low for eight hours. At eight hours, that kimchi juice and that kimchi cooks down with that chicken stock and forms this beautiful, sweet, umami sort of flavored soup. And then the best part is that pork belly that we put on the bottom gets all soft and melts in your mouth. And we have two more ingredients that we're gonna throw in there to make this fabulous. Eight hours is done. And here we go, it smells so sweet and spicy. So we're gonna add lots of fun stuff, about six scallions, take tofu, or tofu, I always call it tofu, um, but it's tofu, Tom would laugh at me right now. And I'm gonna put that right on top as well too. And mix it around, take a whole big thing of it, and throw it right in there. Oh my God, look at those pieces of pork. Yum, I love it. I'm gonna get some pork. I wanna get some kimchi in here and some of that beautiful broth. Oh. Mm. oh, that's so good. What I love about kimchi is it's not super spicy. It has this beautiful flavor that blooms in your mouth. It almost tastes like if honey and sriracha dance together a little bit on cabbage and it's got a beautiful peppery taste and then that beautiful pork melts in your mouth because it's slow cooked in those juices of those kimchi. Yum, this is so good. All right, recipe on chophappy.com. You can go to YouTube description for the ingredients, happy.com and subscribe. And recipes will come to you every Saturday's a new recipe to your email. All right guys, I love you. have fun.